Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, what I think is a pretty common use case in the DocuSign Gen and CPQ world um, that isn't in DocuSign Gen's uh, documentation anywhere, and that is how to conditionally hide a column uh, in your products table. So uh, I have an example quote up here, and what I've done is I've added a few custom fields called include list price and include discount, and my template has four columns uh, total here, uh, product, unit price, discount, and total price. You'll notice there is some XPath language here, uh, which I'll explain uh, a bit more. So first off, we're going to generate the document with these boxes checked. So I'm going to go ahead and create order form, which is my custom button for the DocuSign Gen template that I've created. I will hit send with signature. And then I'm going to fill in the standard uh, path uh, information here for my recipients, put in a customer and myself as uh, a signatory here. And then I'm going to move on to the prepare and send step, uh, which will allow me to preview this document before I send it out to the customer. Great, so now that I've added that in, you'll notice here as I scroll down to the products table that all four columns are displaying properly. Now what I'm going to do is we're gonna go back to the quote and we're gonna uncheck these boxes. We will hit create order form again. And what you'll see here is uh, that I'm going to use that you know, use those fields to inform uh, the template, uh, you know, that I would like to hide those. Now, this is great for use cases um, where maybe you have a pay-as-you-go uh, contract uh, method and your sales reps uh, maybe want to hide the discount or hide the list price um, for some, you know, for some reason for an optics standpoint. You know, giving the, you know, the end users a degree of flexibility with the agreement that they actually want to present to the customer. This is something that used to exist um, in the old uh, DocuSign for Salesforce CPQ package that you could configure using quote templates and conditional fields, um, but went away uh, to a degree without, um, without really anybody talking about it, um, which is something I found frustrating. So uh, I'm going to add this back in. I'll select my recipients again, and I'll move on to the prepare and send step. DocuSign will load. And here in the table, you'll know that both the list price and the discount columns have now been hidden. Now to the how part. This was uh, something I found as a result of working with uh, the adoption consultants uh, internally. Uh, when I was onboarding a few a uh, few clients with DocuSign Gen, uh, they clued me into a tag that again is not mentioned in their documentation that allows you to suppress uh, table columns based on fields, very similar to how you use the conditional select fields um, throughout the rest of the uh, throughout the rest of the template. So the notation here, which I'll copy in the description, is suppress the table column and then look for the fields. You'll see I have include list price here um, and the include discount field here, also looking for that. That way you can toggle these on and off. So that is really the core um, of, this, you know, of this feature and how I was able to get it to work. Uh, if you explore different options um, using different notation or different conditions or different use cases, uh, please let me know in the comments, um, again, Happy to explore other uh, other possibilities and you know share the knowledge. Thanks very much for tuning in.